Okay, you probably can't see me, but I have the camera zoomed in to take a close look at the muscles we'll be constructing. Um, here, deep to the pec major, which you have not put on yet, is the pec minor, going from upper ribs to the coracoid process of the scapula. And then, really important, the serratus anterior. So this muscle runs from anterior and lateral ribs all the way around the rib cage to the vertebral border of the scapula. You have instructions on how to make the scapula more mobile so you can get to this point. But here is the scapula from the front view, and this muscle runs all the way to its farthest away border, the vertebral border. Um, on the back, we'll be looking at three parts of the trapezius, the upper and lower, which are both involved in upper rotation of the scapula, and the middle, which is more involved in retraction of the scapula. So whenever I do something passively, the muscle that's, that would be active to perform that motion should get more slack in it. And when I push the opposite way, that muscle should be stretched. So the three parts of the trapezius, and then rhomboid major and minor, which here are shown as one muscle together because uh, functionally they work together. Um, back to the serratus, just to see a good picture, serratus is involved in pushing the scapula forward into protraction. So this movement here, and you'll be working with a scapula that is this free to move around. So you'll be able to get to that vertebral border. Uh, if you follow the directions on how to free the scapula from the ribcage.